The Indianapolis Colts, one of the six teams on a bye this week, and maybe no team needs it more than Indianapolis. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you in the end zone, presented by Sony alongside CBSSports.com's Clark Judge, and of course CBS Sports' Ian Eagle. And guys, let's get into the Colts a little bit. One and two, uh, the tough loss to Jacksonville where Josh Scobie made a 51-yard field goal to win it tough win against Minnesota so that you could be two and one you could be oh and three but they sit here at one and two Clark how far can we see the Colts fall or is it really not the end yet no it's not the end yet I mean you're right about they need the buy they'll get things together they need some healthy players I mean Bob Sanders is out they can't stop the run we all know that but you know two years ago they couldn't stop the run either when Bob Sanders was out and lo and behold, when he comes back, they go all the way to the Super Bowl. I mean, so I, I'm not ready to bury this team. Dallas Clark has been hurt. Uh, their offensive line's not together. I mean, they just got Jeff Saturday back. Tony Hugo's out. So they've got a raft of problems that'll take time to iron out. But this is a 16-game season. And, and let's not forget, you also have Peyton Manning. And you can never write off Peyton Manning. But he's not right either. No. And that's got to be a concern. Yeah, and what qualifies as a demise right now in the NFL? The Colts have been so good and so consistent over so long that because there's a bit of a drop-off, I think there's been an overreaction. Peyton Manning's not himself. Uh, the staff infection in his knee, he, he's not right. Just watching him, and I've watched him probably more than any player since I've started covering the NFL back in 1997, his rookie year, 1998. It's not him right now, but their offense is too talented, too sophisticated, and there are too many weapons for this team to just fall off the face of the earth. Injuries, as Clark said, that's been the biggest issue right now. What, Joseph Adai now isn't a good running back? <laughs> He's still a quality running back. That offensive line, Jeff Saturday also not being a part of it. That might be the biggest injury and, of all. And that's huge, the fact that you know Adai really averaging less than three and a half a carry through the right. first three games. Offensive line, a huge problem. They're having a hard time protecting for Peyton Manning. Let's see who comes back after the bye week. But the biggest concern for me, of course, is the fact that they can't stop the run. And Bob Sanders will be out for a couple more weeks at least mm -hmm. after the bye week. I know they have Houston the week after the bye, but Houston beat them last year. This is not that we mentality of we can't beat them. You got him uh, in a game you had last year. But it's the only time Houston's beaten them. But the, but the time. last time. Yeah, but there's, there's you know, Iron's right. There's just too much talent here. These guys aren't going away. I mean, to me, Houston is a gimme for them. You come off the bye and you go, hey, uh, yeah, Steve Slayton, yeah, I know he ran for over 100 yards against Tennessee, okay? But Steve Slayton's not going to beat this team. You've still got Peyton Manning. You've got Reggie Wayne. Marvin Harris isn't at or near the no. end of his career. But you've got Anthony Gonzalez. You know, Joseph Adal will get better when that offensive line will get better. And Tony Dungy's the head coach. I don't panic with Tony Dungy teams. Well, Tony Dungy is a defensive-minded guy, and that defense, again, I understand it, but you, you come back to it. The defense, Ed Johnson was kicked off the team for, his, for the various purposes that happened, and, you know, obviously banged up with Bob Sanders. You can't, when you can't stop well, the run, you can't win in the NFL. I think the deeper issue for them also defensively is the fact they rely so much on Bob Sanders, and he plays too tough for his body. He's like a missile out there, but you can't keep refiring the same missile. And there's a reason why Bob Sanders is having issues just staying on the field. Right. You can't take away with, uh, from what he brings to this team, but at some point he might have to change his style a bit and not go all out on every single play. On the offensive side of the ball, you know, back to the Saturday injury, Clark, uh, the reality is he's so important to calling out protection schemes and the comfort zone that Peyton Manning has with him. Right. So it, all these problems have, have just kind of uh, added onto themselves, and, and I think that's why you've seen this team kind of you know, trudge their way through the first few weeks. They're walking in quicksand right now, right. And, and they're looking to get out of that. I think the bye helps. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Tough schedule so far with Chicago, Minnesota, and then Jacksonville 1 and 2. But their division's tough also. you got to see Jacksonville again. you got to see Tennessee twice. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's not an easy division. And, of course, they got the Patriots later in the season, and who knows what the Patriots are going to be. All right, end of the season, what are the Colts record-wise? 11-5, uh, and 10-6, um, at or near the top. I do win. they They're, win the division? Yes, they win the division. Just because I'm, I'm not going against Tony Dungy, Peyton Manning, and that group. I think they win the division. Bob Sanders comes back. We're talking three games here. Three games, all right? <laughs> Do they win? Uh, I, th I think Tennessee now with this jump start can win the division. The problem for Indianapolis will be how deep does this hole get. By December, we're going to be talking about this team in a playoff light. 
It's just a matter mm -hmm. now if the numbers jive and, and they actually have a shot to make the wild card. I think Tennessee wins the division. Right. I agree. I, I think Indianapolis. I think this is the year that streaks down. Yep. For more on this uh, <laughs> topic or any other here in the end zone presented by Sony, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Clark Judge, Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.